Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the lead code question, bulls and cows. All right, so in this question, we're playing the game of bulls and cows with one of our friends. So you write down a number and you need to ask your friend to guess what the number is. Each time your friend makes a guess, you provide a hint that indicates how many digits in said guess match your secret number exactly in both digits and positions. And this is what is called a bull. All right, so in other words, just to make it simple, a bull is when, let's say, the number I guess is one and the actual number is one. In that case, I have a bull, which means that the two numbers match exactly and even the position which they are in also match. Okay, and the other thing we have is a cow. All right, and this is how many digits match the secret number but locate in the wrong position. So in this case, you have maybe two numbers which are uh, which are the right numbers, but they're not in the right position. Okay, so your friend will use successive guesses and hints to eventually derive the secret number. Write a function to return a hint according to the secret number and friend's guess. So A is going to be used to indicate bulls and B is going to be used to indicate cows. Please note that both secret number and friend's guess uh, may contain duplicate digits. And one more thing we should note is the fact that you may assume that the secret number and your friend's guess only contains digits and their lengths are always equal. Uh, the fact that their lengths are equal uh, can help us quite a bit. All right, so let's just take a look at an example. So finding the bulls is actually the easy part. So a bull is when, uh, let's say for example over here, 1807 and 7810, the eight is both in both the places, it's in the same place. Uh, there, it's the same number and it's in the same position. So in that case, it's one bull. So that's why we have one A and everything else is, is considered as a cow. So we have three B, which is three cows. And why is it a cow? So we have one zero seven in that order, right? One eight zero seven. But over here we have seven eight one zero. So seven one and zero and one zero seven, they're all the same numbers, but the only thing is they're all in different positions. So finding out about the bulls is pretty simple, but how do you actually get the cows? So to do that, let's take a look at how we can do that. So this is the same example as our question. So we have the secret number on the left and then we have the guest number over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a bucket, okay? And this bucket is gonna consist of 10 zeros. So what I'm gonna do is let's just uh, write the index of each of them and why the number 10. So you can just think of 10 being represented for the numbers zero through nine. So this represents the number zero, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that represents each number and that's also its index. So how can we actually use this for our benefit? So let's actually take a quick look at that. We're gonna go through our numbers one by one. So first we have one over here and we have seven over here. And obviously one and seven are not the same. So in this case, it is not a bull, but it could be a cow, we don't know yet. So what we're gonna do is we're for the secret number, we're gonna to go to the first index since the number is one, and we're gonna add a value of one. So this is going to end up becoming one over here. And one more thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go for our guess, we're gonna to go to the seventh index, which is here, and we're gonna subtract it by one. So this is going to end up becoming negative one. And the purpose of this is actually going to become clear really soon. So now we're gonna have eight and eight over here. So they're both the same, so that means it's a cow. So let's just create a variable called cow, and we're gonna add one to it. It used to be zero, now we have one cow, cool. So now let's go to zero and one. So we're gonna do the same steps. So for zero, we go to zero, we're gonna add by one since it's from the secret number, and this is going to end up becoming one. Now we're gonna to go to one, right? So we go over here, and we're gonna subtract it by one. So currently the value is one, and when we do one minus one, this actually ends up becoming zero. So what actually happened there? So in simple words, you can kind of think of it as, so first we encountered a number in our secret number, and when we encountered it in our guess number, we subtracted it. So with the value of one, first being one, and then subtracting and making it zero, that's telling us that they both contain the number one just in different positions. And if they were in the same position, we wouldn't be doing the step at all. We would just increase the cal by one. So hopefully that makes sense and let's just uh, continue uh, with this. So finally we have seven for secret and zero for guess. So we go to seventh index and we increase it by one. So again, this negative one ends up becoming zero. 
since negative 1 plus 1 is, well, 0. And all that's telling us is that 7 exists in secret and in guess, the only difference is that they're in different positions. Similarly, over here for guess, uh, we have 0, so we're going to go to 0th index, minus 1 minus 1 is 0, and we end up with 0. So what is this telling us? This is telling us that all the numbers in our secret place are also there in guess, except that these three numbers are not in the right position. This is going to be the number of cows we have. Okay, sorry, I made a small mistake. Let me just double check. Okay, so a bull is when they're in the same position and digit. Okay, so this is supposed to be bull. Really sorry about that. So this is bull and these are the cows. So we have three cows over here and the number of cows is well three. And how do we actually get the number of cows? So the formula for that is going to be we're going to take the length of secret. So that's going to be four and we're going to subtract that by the number of bulls we found. So in this case, it's going to be four minus one and that actually gives us the value of three. And we're also going to subtract it by the sum of whatever is greater than zero. So in this case, uh, for our bucket. So in our bucket, we don't have anything greater than zero. So in that case, it's just gonna be minus zero, giving us a value of three. So real quickly, let's just look at a second example over here. So let's look at this example over here, one, one, two, three, and zero, one, one, one. All right, so let's just run through this real quickly. So first we have one over here, and then we have zero. So we end up going to one, increase it by one, and then we go to zero, decrease it by one since it's from guess. Then over here we have one and one, so it's the same number and the same position. So we're gonna increase our bull value, so now it's gonna end up becoming one. So now we go to two and increase it by one, so this becomes one over here, and we go to one, decreasing it by one, so this ends up becoming zero. And finally we go to three over here, increasing the secret value, so we increase it by one, and then we go to one over here, and we decrease it by one. So this actually ends up becoming negative one. So now we got the number of bulls and we also now need to find out what the number of cows are. So let's find out the number of cows. So the first step is gonna take the length of secret, so which is four, and subtract that by the number of bulls we have. So this is the maximum number of cows we can have. So we can have a maximum of three cows, but that is actually not the case. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna take a sum of everything which is greater than zero. And in that case, this only corresponds to these two values, which have a value of one. And so that's gonna be two, so one plus one, two. So we're gonna subtract that. So four minus one minus two, which is four minus three, which is nothing else but one. So that means we have one cow. And well, how does that actually even make sense? So let's just look at this. So first, let's just cross this out over here. So that over there is our uh, bull, right? So we can just ignore that. So what is the cow? So the secret number has two and three, and our guess does not have two or three, which is why if you go to our bucket over here and you look at the values of two and three, they both have a value of one, which means that those numbers are there in the secret, but they are not there in our guess, right? So that's why we subtracted the number of cows by two, since we did not make a guess for the numbers two and three at all. But we did make a guess for the number one over here. Instead, we actually made two guesses. So we have one over here, and we also have one over there. And either of them can be considered to be the cow, which is why we have one cow, which is over here. And if it doesn't make sense why we subtracted by two, it's because the values of two and three have not been called in the guess at all, which is why the, we're decreasing the number of cows. And if you look at it in if you look at it in terms of the game, you would want to have more cows, which means that your guesses are more accurate. So this is how we're actually going to solve our question. And let's just go back to our example and you can see that we got the same answer. So 1A and 1B, so that's the answer we got. And now we'll see how we can actually implement this in code. All right, so let's start off by defining our few variables. So we're going to have the number of bulls. So it's going to start off with the value of zero. And we're also going to have our bucket. So to form our bucket, it's going to be a list of zeros and it's going to be 10 zeros, right? So uh, 10 in the sense to represent the values, zero all the way through nine. So that's why we need 10. So that into 10, that gives us a list full of uh, 10 zeros. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to iterate through our secret and guess. So we can do that by two ways. We can uh, We know that they're going to be the same length, so we can iterate through the index or we can just uh, zip out or we can use zip in order to get each of the elements. So I'll just use zip. So let's just do for s to represent the secret, comma g for guess, in zip, uh, secret, comma, guess. Okay, 
So now that we have this, we can go inside of a for loop. And over here, we're going to check if they are the same value. So if s is equal to g, then in that case, we know it's a bull. So in that case, we're going to go to our bull's value and we're going to increase it by one and we're done. But if this is not the case, there is a possibility that it could be a cow. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our bucket, right? And we want to go to whatever is at the S index. And this is actually, because it's actually a string, which is why we convert this into an integer since we want to go to that index. So we're going to go to uh, integer S. So we're going to go to that index and this is for the secret. And for the secret, we're going to increase it by, uh, similarly for our, we're going to go to bucket, then int, and then we want to go to whatever is at the, for the guess. Right, and for the gets, we're going to decrease it by one. It's the same thing as we did before. And now we're going to keep going through our for loop. And at the ending of this, we're going to get the number of bulls uh, for sure. So by the ending of the for loop, we do have the number of bulls. So let's just uh, see how we can return. So we're over here, we're going to have the number of bulls and we already stored it in a variable over here. So let's just give that. So we have bulls. And after that, bulls corresponds to A. So this is the format. So uh, the number of bulls, A, number of cows, B, right? So we're going to give it the variable bulls. And then that's going to be A, sorry, capital A. And then afterwards, we're going to have the number of cows, right? Cows, and then capital B. So how do we actually calculate the number of cows? So let's just do the calculation over there uh, in place. So the number of cows is going to be the same steps as we did earlier. So we're going to find the length of our uh, secret list uh, or sorry, string. So length of secret, then we're going to subtract that by the number of bulls we have. So that is the maximum possible cows that we can have. And now we want to remove whatever we did not uh, call in our guess. So how do you do that? So you go, we're going to find the sum of everything inside of the bucket, which has a value greater than zero. So to do that, we can just do x for x in a bucket, and we're going to give it an if condition. So if this x value is greater than zero, only then are we going to consider it. And we're going to take the sum of everything which is greater than zero, and we're going to end up subtracting that. And that's going to be it for our cow's value. And afterwards, we're just going to give b over here, and that should be it. So now let's submit this, and let's see what happens. So submit. And as you can see, our submission did get accepted. And finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know if you have any questions or if there are any specific legal questions you want me to solve. And don't forget to like and subscribe if the video helped you. Thank you.